about one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm going to guess one of your favorite movies of all time. Yes, I'm talking about Back to the Future. Yes, that movie had everything. It had suspense, drama, action, sci-fi, comedy. It had it all. It was just almost a perfect, perfect movie. Now, it did have a few scenes that have always bothered me and I've always questioned. Maybe they left that in there on purpose to so keep our minds going. But I'm going to talk about those two scenes. Um, one is how did the parents, how did Lorraine and George... How did they not know in the future that was their son that was in the past? How, how did they not know that? He looks exactly the same. Look at him. He's talking to Lorraine. George is sitting in the background. It's obvious that that's the same kid that they have. It's their kid. How do they not know in the future that that's their kid? Now, there's tons of theories out there on why they don't remember. I'm just saying maybe George became a heavy drinker and forgot. I don't know. We just don't know. But Lorraine, it's her son, but maybe it's because she kissed her son. And maybe she does remember for a while, oh, wait, that's my son. I kissed my son. That she just blocked it out. She just said, forget it. This is this never happened. I never kissed my son. It was just a bad dream. So we'll go with that. But it does bother me that, come on, you'd recognize your son, especially when he says, hey, when you you have a kid and he's eight years old, if... If he uh, burns the house down, uh, you know, can you kind of just forgive him for that? Marty, that's a great name. Marty. Mm, yeah. Anyway, it, it happens. Now, the second one I have is is more of a serious complaint. I mean, we have the scene where Marty and, and George have set up the thing where he's going to rescue Lorraine and from Marty. It turns out that Biff is sexually assaulting Lorraine. I mean, this is a ser this is serious. And of course, uh, George gets there and he goes, he sees it's Biff at first. He goes, oh my God, it's Biff. I didn't expect Biff. He goes, no, no, get your hands off her, Biff. And then of course, Biff gets out of the car. He pushes Lorraine down. He has George's arm bent back. He's, you know, about ready to break his arm. Lorraine's saying, stop it, Biff, stop it, Biff, stop it, Biff. The whole thing. And finally, George just gets his hand, you know, makes a fist and knocks Biff out. Just knocks him cold which is, we all cheered for. We Nobody liked Biff. Biff was, Biff was your typical a-hole, but he's also attempting rape. He's, he's, a, he's a bad, bad guy. Now, things have changed, but in the future, Biff is actually waxing their cars. And I'm like going, if, I'm sorry. And, and they even make a comment. He goes, well, if it, Biff's such a character. No, Biff is an a-hole. Biff is a jerk. Biff should be in jail. Um, and I would say this, I wouldn't want Biff around my wife. If, I, if I'm George McFly, do I want Biff around my wife? Do I want him around my kids? No, there's no way I'd want this guy around my kids. So there you go. I mean, Biff, they, they even say, they go, well, you know, without Biff, such a character, we would, we never would have been together. Uh, well, that okay, fine. But you don't, you don't bring this guy around. Now I know he looks different. He seems different. But deep down, that's Biff. That's Biff the creep. That's Biff the bully. That's Biff, Biff the attempted rapist. Now, there are different theories out there. Now, did everything change when that happened? Did that never happen, the, the attempted rape? I don't know. That's all I got. Let me know in the comment section. Tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't care. I just want to know. We're out. We'll be back later on this week. Thanks. Bye, everybody.